Psychology professor Dr. Gail Matthews at Dominion University in California led a study on goal setting and found that you are 42% more likely to achieve goals if you write them down. But here's the thing. By this point in the new year, 25% of people have already abandoned their New Year's resolutions, whether they wrote them down or not. In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you my new approach to goal setting that actually gets the job done. Without further ado, let's hop in. Hi, my name is Lashonda Brown and welcome to Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach people how to grow a biz without breaking the bank. If you're interested in reviews or how-tos, this channel is for you. I believe there's nothing wrong with being on a budget and my advice will help you level up without racking up debt. To get started, make sure you go to LashondaBrown.com slash coupon book to take my Bootstrap Biz Quiz. This will help me learn more about you, and when you complete the quiz, I'll send you a coupon book full of savings on business tools that fit your stage in business. So many people choose a word for the year that expresses their intentions for the year to come. While we know we cannot predict the future, our desire with choosing this word is that it will help guide us as we make decisions in the weeks and months to come. For some reason, I've always chosen a word that begins with C. In 2018, my word was confidence. At that point in my life, I really wanted to feel more sure of my place in the online business community. I wanted to stop self-sabotaging by playing small while putting myself out there in a bigger way. 2019 was commit. I did grow in confidence, but I started to see that I wouldn't gain traction if I didn't choose a niche and commit. I'm an extremely multi-passionate person and it's so easy for me to get distracted by new opportunities and challenges. And then 2020 happened. My intention was to consolidate. And although this word is mostly used to describe a relationship with debt, I wanted to continue the work I started in 2019. To consolidate means to make something physically stronger or to combine multiple things into a more coherent whole. I had done the most and I wanted to do less. While I did consolidate that year, it didn't look anything like my vision board. And by 2021, I decided, what's the point in choosing another word given everything happening in the world? But now it's 2022. Hope has been restored and I'm ready to try again. My word for this year is consistency. It's my first year as a full-time YouTuber and the best thing that I can do for my brand is to keep showing up. So if you've never tried choosing a word for the year, I want you to give it a try. But I also want to encourage you to not get so caught up in what sounds good. Your word may not sound poetic, but if it is effective in reminding you why you're striving to achieve certain milestones, then it's doing its job. Here is where my goal setting approach takes a turn. For years, I would sit down and I would say what I wanted to do, but I never said why. What I love about the Power Sheets Goal Planner is it forces you to think critically about what matters most to you before you decide what you're going to do. There are pages and pages of pre-planning worksheets to help you evaluate where you stand in multiple categories of your life long before you set specific goals. Health and wellness, friends, a focal relationship, which for me is my husband, family, finances, work and learning, spiritual and personal growth and recreation. The number one takeaway I have for this planner is you cannot tackle all aspects of your life at one time. It's tempting to uproot everything on January 1, but it can be just as destructive as it is helpful. After you evaluate your life, you choose a handful of areas you want to work on for the upcoming year. Both 12-week year and power sheets understand 
that creating annual goals is an unhelpful outlook for goal setting. You might set goals in December for the upcoming year, but by March, the fabric of your life could have completely changed. Set goals, but re-evaluate them after 12 weeks or three months. Check back in. I'm only a couple weeks into 2022 and I've already discovered things about myself that have caused me to want to tweak my goals. So don't get so stuck in following rules that you made up that you lose sight of the end goal. Whether you use the field guide from 12 week year or power sheets, write your goals down with your word of the year in mind and be willing to evaluate your goals often. One of my goals is to post weekly on my YouTube channel. I know in order to do something I've never done, I'm going to need some help. So I'm leveraging technology for accountability virtually. In a previous video, I talked about Groove, a virtual co-working app that I use for accountability. The link for that is in the description. I've also done power sheets with other people, logging my progress every day and then meeting once a month to discuss my progress. Change happens in community. So whether you're leveraging an app or meeting face-to-face, -face, find as many opportunities as you can to include other people in your goals. One thing I've learned about myself is I always push myself harder in the gym than I do at home. At home, I have to muster the strength on my own, but at the gym, being able to physically see other people choosing not to quit while they do the same exercises as me pushes me to do the same. 60% of people will abandon their goals by June. So I hope this video has provided you with some practical advice to help you stay committed in the months to come. Choose a word for the year so you can be reminded at a moment's notice why you're striving to reach these goals in your life. Find a tool to write your goals down to increase the likelihood of you achieving them. Be willing to reevaluate your goals as often as possible, but once a quarter at the least. And find a way to include other people in your goal journey to help hold yourself accountable. At the time of this video, the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets are 40% off, and you know I love a good discount. So feel free to go to lashondabrown.com slash power sheets to snag your copy of the planner that I'm using for this year. I've got more productivity tips coming for you this month as part of my Starting Strong series. So make sure that you subscribe so you're notified when the next video goes live. And before you go, let me know in the comments, what is your word for the year? Until next time, to talk for now. Really quick before you go, I want to make sure you know about the Bootstrap Biz Quiz. Just take this super quick quiz to tell me more about the tools that you need in your business. And when you're done, you're going to receive my coupons to help you save money while you grow your business online.